It all started with my grandfather. His father passed away and he was at a young age. He had to work instead of choosing to go to school. He had that kind of working mentality in him. And then in the early 50s, him and my grandmother seen the opportunity to go off on their own and build their own company. At first it just started out where it was just a family thing, just them two and the four kids that they have. Then it kind of grew from there. They got a few more employees. And somewhere in the 70s, 80s, they decided to retire. And from there, my father really took hold of it and grew it into what it is today. Pretty much what we've done is we've stuck to what is considered an old school construction method. It's something that kind of my grandfather and my father have perfected over the years. Well, like with any company, you can't just stay the same. You have to evolve. And Andrew is very, very good about trying to move forward with the company and give it some new, more modern, updated looks and stuff, which is fantastic. We literally let the customer design the trailer they're, they're wanting built. We try to outfit it the way they want it, make it as usable for them as possible. The majority of our customers stay in it full time, go from north in the summertime down to south in the winter. I like working with the Rush family. They've always been good to me, and uh, they've been good to all of our employees. Again, we're a family here. It's not just a little slap it together shop. You know, we take pride in what we do. Over the past few years, I've been kind of taking more of a leadership role here and making bigger decisions, but if it wasn't for the opportunity and the hard work that my grandfather took in the early days, then we wouldn't be where we're at today.
Hey RV Nation, here's the navigation that we were talking about. Uh, this is a 2020 Navigation 301 RBS. You can see from the outside we have great graphics. You can see our large 32 inch wide door where most of our competitors are at 30. Uh, the, the unit also features a metal. It's an 030 metal versus a, a 024 metal that a lot of the competition will use. Uh, coming to the back side here, you're going to see that we have our power corner jacks. Easy to uh, get down and open them up, put them up and down. Right beside that is our 10 gallon DSI water heater. Yes, it is a 10 gallon. A lot of our competitors will do a 6 gallon. Your outside furnace, our furnaces are 40,000 BTUs. With the furnace. Here's our power awning with an LED light strip. As you can see, we have lots of windows. We use an 8800 series max airflow window, which gives you 50% airflow versus a jealousy window that only is going to give you 33% roughly. We do do this uh, Lippert solid steps standard on all of our travel trailer floor plans with navigation. Uh, our unit is a wide body, so if we come around here to the front, uh, you can tell that this unit is an eight and a half wide uh, versus a lot of our competition is uh, uh, eight foot wide. Uh, you can see there our power tongue jack uh, is available option with light. Uh, we use 30 pound LP bottles as standard. Uh, you can see how the good profile of the front end there. We also give you a, a, a light there that gets you on and off at night. You also have a uh, place for dual battery. We give you one battery in battery box. Zoning in, here's something that we do that a lot of people don't. That is a battery disconnect on the outside. So you can actually disconnect all 12 volt battery. Uh, when you go to put your unit away for storage, you don't have uh, uh, a dead battery when you come back. The diamond plate front. Also look at our slide boxes. Our slide boxes are actually very well finished off there. You can see underneath where we actually have a, uh, the metal wrap goes all the way around. So you have no exposed wood on the outside. Moving further down the unit, you have your uh, fresh water fill there, your tandem axles. Again, this unit features a double slide, and we'll get to that on the inside. Uh, outside here, we are 50 amp service standard. You got your cables coming in, both one and two, for the bedroom and the living room. We give you a 36 foot shoreline for that. You have an outside shower here, your water fill is again at the back of the unit. Uh, our water and electric are separate, so when you're at a campground, all your utilities are usually at the back, so it's easier to look up. You got your standard bumper. Uh, one of the other things, a feature that a lot of them don't, is a 300 pound weight limit ladder. And if you can see up there at the top, I'll try to get a little bit closer, all of our running lights are LED. So we have all LED lights on the outside, which going down the road will really brighten up your unit. Also, you got a nice outside 110. You can hook up a, uh, you know, outside radios or whatever. But now moving into our 32 inch entry door, you got your big grab handle here. First thing you're going to see when we first walk in is your dinette. We do a different dinette in this floor plan to give you a lot more room, but this is a couple's coach. So we actually give you a, a half bench dinette, which also turns into a sitting area or a little bit of a lounge. Uh, pedestal table with uh, a couple of chairs there. Uh, up here into the front of the unit, uh, this is a huge uh, opportunity for us to give you a lot of uh, storage space. Uh, but it's also it comes standard with a king size bed. Yes, we are a 70 by 80 king size bed in a travel trailer. Look at all the abundance of overhead storage we have. Every unit we have at every sleeping berth and every seating area comes with an outlet and a USB port. So you have an opportunity to charge your cell phone, use your cell phone. Um, if you see back here, this is one of the key features of our Navigation 301 RBS. Not only does it have a king bed in the bedroom and a good nightstand with uh, some drawers underneath there and an overhead, but you have a full walk-in closet. I'm going to actually walk in the closet here. Uh, you can also see that we have uh, five drawers there. A light for inside your closet. I'm actually inside the closet now. Another light on the other side. You got a little seating area there or you can put a shoe rack there but you can sit there and put your shoes on. 
And then looking outside the closet, we got another four drawers underneath your, your dresser there. So huge, huge area for a master suite and a couple's coach. Nice big uh, window here that you can also have cross ventilation. Each one of our windows on either side opens up. Coming through the living room and kitchen again, you can see that we offer uh, theater seats here. Uh, we also have the Everchill 10.7 refrigerator. And I'm just going to get you a quick little glance at the floor plan here. But that's our floor plan layout right there. And so you can see we also have windows on the side. There's your USB ports. Kitchen. Uh, we have a huge kitchen, lots of counter space here in your kitchen area. We're also featuring the Greystone backlit uh, knobs there on your stove with a glass top. Lots of kitchen storage drawers here, a wastebasket underneath the sink. You can also see we have a high spout sink with big double bowl sinks. All stainless steel. We have stainless steel appliances, your refrigerator, your stove, and your oven, or and your microwave are all there. At the top here, you can see that we have a place for a 42-inch TV. So when you're sitting down at your theater seat, which I'm going to do now, you actually have a perfect viewing area of your TV. You got a nice window there, a couple more drawers, and then you have your standard sound bar. That's a DVD stereo sound bar that you can play your music inside, outside, or just the bedroom or everything. If you notice, we also have a 30 inch uh, fireplace here. That fireplace actually has three different color settings and, and some plain different settings. Alright, moving back to the bathroom or to the back side of the kitchen. Here we have an actual pantry inside your kitchen, folks. You can see that it's a huge pantry where you can store a lot of a lot of your stuff and then your converter box is right there for you. Our bathroom is huge. All of our navigations come with a porcelain toilet and they all also come with fiberglass showers, tubs, toilets, whatever it is, it's all fiberglass. A lot of our competitors will use a two-piece plastic and when you're asking uh, you know, for a good amount of money for a unit, you want to make sure you have good quality products used and materials used in the unit. We made a little rack there for storage of towels. And again, we also have a huge area here uh, for your sink. Porcelain sink, nice big medicine cabinets that open up where you can store all of your uh, toiletries in. Got nice space down below here for storage underneath the sink. And again, you have three more drawers that open up that you can have uh, more toiletries in. So. That is the uh, 301 RBS, folks. Just do a little quick pan around here again. You can see everything. This happens to be our chocolate decor. Uh, we also have a black decor and a cream or a, a taupey color uh, decor. So give us a call. We'd love to do business with you uh, in the dealer nation out there. Thank you. Coming to you from Recreation by Design, RBD, and I'm going to show you our brand new redesigned Bay Point destination style travel trailer. I'm going to point up in the front here, we got nice big uh, tinted windows, your outside porch lights, 30 pound LP tanks here. One of the most important things that we do different than everybody else, we do a detachable hitch. Folks, you can bring this unit in, set it, and then detach the hitch so you can get your full 44 foot length out of this thing. All electronic slides uh, on the outside. We'll get more on that on the inside. We're using 030 metal, folks. This is a very thick metal to give you a nice, rigid exterior uh, surface on there. Same thing with the side of our slide. You can't push in on ours like you can in some of the other manufacturers out there. Come on down here. We're using, uh, again, bigger windows on the outside. Nice Bay Point graphics. Look how attractive that is on the outside. We're also featuring 7,000 pound axles here. We got our, our big 16 inch tires to give you a lot of stability, but it's really just getting it to your destination. And then you're probably gonna block it and you know put a, a, a deck on the outside and everything. One of the other key features that we do here is our triple slide seal. We use a bulb seal on the outside, bulb seal on the inside, and then a wiper seal right here. 
Let's move around to the back. Did you go to the back? Did you get cut it off? off? No, you're good. Just okay. we can we can edit okay. it out. Yeah. On the back side here, folks, we got a 50 amp detachable cord. 50 amp gives you plenty of uh, electrical capacities for anything that you want to do on the inside. We also feature three different uh, satellite and cable prep. So if you hook up to a satellite system, there's three different areas in there, the kids' room, the living room, and the bed master bedroom, that you can each watch your own digital TV uh, through DISH or anything like that and, and uh, have individual receivers. Okay? One of the other key features here in the Bay Point is our awning. We've got a 21-foot uh, power awning with an LED light strip about it. But if you notice, we've designed it so it covers both of your doors. Whether you're getting in the back door uh, or you're getting into the front patio door, you have an opportunity to get in with un underneath the awning. Also here, one of the outsides, we're going to focus on the inside, but here you can see we have a huge 20-gallon residential hot water heater in our unit. You're going to have enough hot water heater for anything you want to do. A lot of our competitors will do either a 6-gallon uh, gas electric DSI water heater or a 10-gallon. We have over two times the amount of water that we can put through there uh, with the hot water. We also have an outside 110 outlet out here. You want to plug in an outside stereo, pull a picnic table up here, whatever, you have that opportunity to do that. The other thing we do that's different is we have a four, what we call a quad step, or four steps to get into the unit. Our big uh, six foot patio door, five foot patio door is a thermal pane window there, so you're going to keep in the cool air or keep in the hot air as well. We also have outside exterior speakers here, so if you wanted to play your stereo from inside, we have three different channels you can play, so you can get music in on the outside here. Okay, I think it's good. Hey folks, coming to you from the Bay Point again on the inside of our BP143 QBBH. I'm going to show you the living room here, but we're going to start off with the master bedroom. Coming to the right, you got your master bedroom here. Inside here, we got the beautiful, huge, big bay windows. You got windows on either side of your uh, queen bed here. You got a nice wood uh, headboard on the back. But the, one of the key features of our Bay Point here for the master bedroom is all of our storage space. If you look, you've got bay windows here with your storage space down below. You can have a little either desk and or makeup stand here. You can put a little chair underneath there. And look how much storage you have in your shirt closet here. And you've got six drawers that are easily accessible for uh, the, the couple in the master bedroom. One of the other key features that we do in the Bay Point is also our hidden hinges, our European style hidden hinges. So that way you don't, you don't have any hinges on the outside. That's a nice clean look. And a lot of our competitors will just use your old piano hinges on there. This unit also features two central ducted air conditioners in here with a heat strip. So we got one here in the master bedroom with a heat strip, so you can use that for heat or cooling. And then this is an optional uh, uh, fan, lighted fan, uh, bladed fan up there at the top that you can use. You got the thin side on, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey folks, now we're going to be in the living room here. This is our entertainment center here, so you get your stereo DVD uh, surround sound with your USB port, it is Bluetooth capable. You can store DVDs up top here, and we have a table mount. You can get a 40 inch LCD or LED TV here. You can also put your extra, if you had a, a Blu-ray or a DVD or another VHS player, you can put the exterior components down there. And then you've got a fireplace. Our fireplace actually kicks out 4,500 BTUs of heat. So it'll take the chill off the air in here if you don't want to use your full fireplace or your full uh, furnace. Here we have a hide -a bed It's an 80 inch hide -a bed here, which makes into a queen bed. And it's uh, our chocolate color vinyl here. Uh, you got nice big bay windows. One of the neat things that we've engineered into the bay point is that every one of our windows opens up. So if you're in that fall area and you want to have just a crisp, clean fall air, you'll have great cross ventilation here from the, from the patio door to the kitchen window to all these bigger windows here. One of the things that RBD is known for is all of our storage that we engineer into all of our floor plans. Look at all your overhead cabinet storage here. It goes all the way through. It is deeper than most of our competitors. And again, we're using the residential hidden hinges so you get a nice clean look on the outside of all your compartments or cabinets in here. 
this peninsula here gives you a huge amount of counter space in this BP143 QBBH. So you have a lot of prep area here. You got a nice, huge double bowl sink. This is a, a sink cover that we provide for you that actually matches our countertop. But this is a residential depth uh, uh, sink base here that you can actually uh, get house type plates in here. You also have the uh, pull out sprayer with the single lever faucet, which is a more residential feel and look. And then look down here where you have a ton of cabinet storage. You've got pots and pan storage. You can do Rubbermaid pull-out trays if you wanted to. Um, at the end there, we have a nice area for somebody to get up in a little breakfast nook area. 110 outlets are easily done here on both sides of the sink, so you can use your toaster ovens, your uh, uh, coffee makers, and that sort of thing, and they can be back tucked in out of the way. We are so focused on residential here, we are featuring our stainless steel appliance upgrade package here, which gives you a 30-inch residential microwave oven stainless, gives you a full-size 30-inch five-burner residential-style range in here. So if you're going to be cooking for lots of family members, you've got plenty. It features a nice big oven. It also features a nice storage area down here for your other pots and pans. The refrigerator is a 16-cube uh, refrigerator residential style all 110 and it's a four door so you got two doors at the top and two freezer drawers down at the bottom if you're going to be entertaining a lot you're going to need storage we feature a huge pantry here folks this also uh, uh, is a secondary or it's a washer and dryer prep but it is actually an adjustable shelf pantry so you can actually put an all-in-one washer and dryer here and have shelving up at the top, or you can pull all the shelving out and have a stackable Splendid washer and dryer in there if you'd like. The other neat thing is if you look at all of our interior here, we feature four raised panel entry doors on every one of our passage doors on the inside. That gives you a more residential feel and it's also a full size door. Here's where all the kids get to play. Back here, this room is our bunk room. It features a slide out so the kids have plenty of room in here. You got a 42 inch or a 38 inch bunk on the top and a 48 on the bottom. So you can have larger kids at the bottom. Uh, we also feature a lot of storage. Every nook and cranny we put storage in because your kids are going to have their duffel bags and all their gear. Um, so there's storage there. You also have this huge mirrored storage here for hanging clothes and, and um, uh, you know, brooms or whatever you want to put back there. And they got two more drawers there. One of the neat things that I want you to pay attention to as far as the quality and workmanship of our unit is everywhere you see we're using plywood. Our floors are built on tongue and groove plywood floors. We also use all of our bed bases as plywood. A lot of our manufacturers use Dynaspan or OSB board or something like that. This is a better, better quality wood and it promotes the longer longevity of the product. And I'm just gonna smoke that shit in here. It's smoking up. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to go quick. No, you're cool though. Let me get this shit out of here and. I think it's, I think it'd be good to, to be able to piece this, it together. Yeah, yeah. We won't go back in here probably. Yeah, because then you could end it in here. You could end it back out up front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I think mean, you could end it, end it out front. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Um, We'll just piece this together here. Yeah, buddy. Right. So I'm gonna walk in this way here. I'll start over here. And I'll start here. <laughs> All right, go. More features of your Bay Point 143 QBH is our rear door. We have a rear entry door here that you can get in and out from the back. The kids can use this because it goes directly into the, the, the kids' room here. But also it leads into our huge bathroom. Our bathroom is in the back here. And you'll see that it's a huge area, full-size sink, a linen closet, a mirrored cabinet, medicine cabinet, two of them. But one of the big things that, that sets us apart from a lot of our competitors is we use a porcelain toilet, residential size, and we also use a fiberglass tub. A lot of our competitors out there will do a two-piece plastic um, tub and, and, and surround, where we're an all one piece and then what we also do is we give you the upgraded shower head and hose. This is a, this is a chrome uh, metal piece rather than having a plastic. It's also got your soap dish up here. Uh, it's also adjustable for the height and everything else. And you've got your hot and cold running water. 
You also have a tub here. So if you have littler kids, you can actually give them a bath or take a bath yourself. Let's move back onto the outside and we'll finish up the tour. I want to thank you for going on the tour with us on this Bay Point 143BH. Stop. You're fine. Okay. Ready? One BP 143 cubic inch. Hey folks, I want to thank you for going on a tour with me through this beautiful Bay Point BP 143 QBBH. Go to our website and see us at www.rvdrv.com or you can always Facebook me at Rob Reed, RV Pro Rob Reed. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's starting from the beginning. Right. I gotta slow down a little bit. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Folks, I want to thank you for your time in viewing the Bay Point 143B QBBH with me. Uh, for further information, you can see me at our Facebook page, RV Pro Rob Reed, on, the, on uh, Facebook, or you can come to our website here, Recreation by Design, which is www.rbdrv.com. Thank you for your time. This newly designed full body paint fifth wheel from RVD is a 441 QBBH. As you can see in the front, it's got a full cap, painted cap obviously, and it's also got a drop down frame. Looking down the side, you got a nice beautiful full body paint unit. Big slide out. Another bedroom slide up here. I'm going to get you just a full pan because this paint job is beautiful on this unit. Gotten a lot of great response out of this thing. If you notice up top there, it's a full straight roof line. It's a 96 inch interior height. On the outside, we're using uh, slam latch doors. You get the door here, you'll be able to see that it's complete pass through storage. There's your complete pass-through storage. And it slams, slam glass doors. Nice and tight. We're also using a uh, solid step by Lippert. And again, as in our other doors, we have a... Th as you can see here, we're using a solid step by Lippert. And it sits in front of our 32 inch wide entry door. A lot of manufacturers out there in the fifth of the market are only putting 30 inch doors in there. You see how we got the black power awning with LED light strip. And we have our drop frame there as well. Let's go on inside and see what uh, we have to offer you in here. Right out of the gate, you're going to see that we have a huge hutch here that you can use for storage. You got your countertop there or a uh, doing all your entertaining. You got an island kitchen with a big pull-out sprayer, deep bowl sink, stainless steel, stainless steel appliances, the big stainless steel refrigerator, four-door. You got a booth dinette here, lots of storage up top. Big hutch in the center, big tri-fold sofa. And wow, look at all the storage you have there around your 30 inch fireplace. You can get a 42 inch TV in there. Back here in the back is for the kiddos. We feature uh, a huge wardrobe closet there for them to be able to put their gear in. Four drawers down there. Four more drawers there with a the countertop where they can put their TV. Notice how we're using regular inner spring mattresses for the kids. Uh, a lot of our competition will just use a four inch foam mat. And it also comes with a ladder for them to get up on the top. Panning back through, you can still see we got lots of kitchen space in there. Drawers, three drawers. Cabinet doors down below here. Got lots of storage in the entryway. It is a reverse side aisle, so we're able to utilize a lot of space here. You're gonna have a big 
gorgeous dressing room mirror. You got your shirt ring or closet rods. Behind the door here, we're going to have all kinds of storage. It's lighted storage. It could be a shoe rack. It could be where you fold your clothes and put them away. And then back into the hallway here, light, lots of uh, nice windows down the hallway to keep a nice bright light in here. Moving into the bathroom, our bathrooms are huge. We have clear double bowl sinks there with fancy spot, uh, faucets, nice big mirror, lots of storage. If you look down below, you can see a lot of indirect lighting. That way you can get uh, into the bathroom or whatever at night without turning out a bunch of lights. And again, nice window in the bathroom, a garden tub with shower, and again, RBD is known for our fiberglass showers and tubs. We don't use any two-piece plastic. This unit features a full-size front-load washer and dryer. It fits right behind the entry door of the bathroom. So if you're doing laundry, it can be done as, in the, as quietly as possible. Let's hot under the master bedroom here. Again, another big window for lots of cross ventilation and airflow. You got a nice big dresser here with lots of drawers. Two, four, six, eight, lots of drawers in here to store all your stuff. You have a queen size bed here, nice headboard and lights. You got uh, USB ports and outlets at the top for storage, both your radio or phones and all that. And then you have a big walk-in closet here with lots of top shelf storage. We have some of our uh, show supplies stored in here. So that's the bathroom or the bedroom. This one's also got a six, 15K uh, AC up here at the top with a heat strip in it. So we'll just gracefully walk back down here to the main living area, show you a few more glimpses of the unit as we go. And then we'll finish up here in the, in the living room kitchen area. Beautiful coach. You can contact me, Rob Reed, at RBD, and you can find out where you can buy this thing from.